Investigators believe they know tonight what caused a major fire at Faye's Corner Drug Store in Eggertsville. News 4's Marie Rice reports the fire was a tough one to fight. It's very sad. A sky filled with acrid black smoke greeted Faye's employees when they first arrived at work early this morning. The call first came out as a burglar alarm going off. Amherst police arrived, discovered the smoky blaze, and radioed for help. Uh, it was a little mind-boggling. That's really all I can say. It was a little incredible to see all the smoke. And uh, I guess I figured I'd have a day off. <laughs> We were told the decades-old plaza on Millersport Highway had been remodeled many times with false ceilings and new partitions, making the job of fighting an elusive fire even more difficult. That parapet you see is always a problem for firefighters because you have to actually go over it and then go down to the roof. Um, and also the fire gets in it and shoots across. There's generally several ceilings that have been added with the remodeling, partitions that have been put up. So it always makes it a little more difficult. Approximately 100 firefighters were on the scene. Adjoining stores suffered only water and smoke damage. They say the uh, security walls between the stores kept the fire contained. So it's just basically smoke damage in any of the other stores. Four hours had passed and water was still being hosed on. The collapsed roof of Faye's Corner Drugstore landed against the firewall and continued to burn on the inside. Nearby residents by the dozens lined up to watch. When you see smoke like that, to me that is a synthetic. Something is synthetic is going up and it was just black. Arson investigators from Amherst Police are working on the theory the fire started when something ignited near a hot water heater. But the investigation continues. Marie Price, News 4 at 5. And Marie says the estimate of fire damage has now been pegged at $750,000. In other news now, combustibles near a hot water heater get the blame tonight for a smoky fire that caused $750,000 damage at an Eggertsville pharmacy. Billows of black smoke obscured the phased drugstore sign this morning at a, sm a small shopping plaza on Miller's Port Highway. Firefighters contained that fire to the pharmacy, but false ceilings made the job of finding elusive flames extremely difficult. We made several ventilation holes on top. It was just that kind of fire where it had a good head start on us. It had false ceilings. It's very sad. It's been there for a long time. It's really very sad. Adjoining stores suffered only water and smoke damage. We're going to go live right now to News 4's L. Vodders. They are calling it the worst fire in the Eggertsville area in five years. And thousands of people are likely to feel the impact. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Siff joins us live from the scene of the blaze which gutted Faye's Drugstore. Andrew? Well, Irv, the fire is finally out and some neighborhood kids are here to pay their respects to what used to be a neighborhood drugstore. But behind these wooden planks, nothing but ashes and charred merchandise after an overnight fire kept burning throughout the morning. It started small, but by the time an alarm alerted firefighters to race over to Grover Cleveland Plaza, plumes of thick gray smoke rose above Faye's Corner Drug on Millersport Highway. By 8.30 a.m., local residents watched in disbelief as part of their daily routine burned up. We're very upset. We want a new drugstore back. It's been, it's very convenient. You do your bills here, your post office, everything's here. So it, it's very upsetting. As flames ripped through phase, a dozen other stores in the plaza were spared. That's because fire-resistant walls kept the blaze confined to one space. But the fire at phase got so intense, it was too dangerous for firefighters to go inside. It eventually took 100 firefighters several hours to knock it down. Uh, we're pretty much tapped up on hydrants around here. We've gone two and three blocks over now. Um, and we're open and we can get water from that. In the end, no one was hurt, but Faye's employees are shaken up. That's gone. The building's a total disaster. What do you guys do? I mean, what do the employees do? I've, I've never uh, experienced anything like this before, but the employees will just uh, move them around all our different locations. But the rest of the people who work in this plaza know it could have been worse. Faye sustained half a million dollars worth of structural damage with an additional $250,000 worth of damage inside from lost pharmaceutical supplies.
Now, as for the residents who depended on this phase for their prescriptions, they are being told to go to the phase on Sheridan and Bailey, but expect delays there because computer records also went up in smoke inside. As for the cause of the blaze, the Eggertsville chief says it was probably an accident and may have started near the hot water heater inside the store. Irv? Okay, thank you, Andrew. Speaking of accidents,